Oxford Sets Central. I'm going to do the November update and go through the various things that have been happening on the layout since uh, we last did any filming. This includes fitting some AWS ramps, putting our first signals on the layout. These are the train tech signals. Um, block detecting. We, we have block detecting on the layout. We've also done quite a lot of ballasting. I wanted to do some ballasting at the far end of the track underneath the high ground area, the tunnels, uh, so that if I ever decide not to have tunnels uh, the area will in fact be ballasted. I still uh, to do the weathering of the ballast but uh, the actual ballasting itself is complete. Although in this weather it's taken quite a long time for it to dry because the, the loft is uh, a bit chilly at this time of year as I'm sure you you probably all know. In terms of uh, a coming session that I have filmed I'd like to take you through how I've installed my Helgen turntable and specifically how I've programmed my ECOS controller so that that can automatically select the various roads from the turntable. The uh, ECOS unit uh, provides facilities for turntables but only for uh, two particular makes which don't include the Helgen one and if you want to include DCC control on that uh, you, you have to do a little bit of uh, lateral thinking. Anyway, hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll uh, get on with what we want to cover today. Here you can see the AWS ramps I've installed, uh, put in eight altogether. They're in preparation for putting points on the layouts. Um, they're the Pico units and I've uh, painted these yellow and black uh, in keeping with uh, the prototypes. Looking down the layout you can see where these are installed um, before the various junctions where the points will be located. As you can see from uh, this close-up here, planning to use on the layout are those uh, made by Train Tech. They're very nice units, uh, they're scale and they also have uh, the sensors built into them. Uh, I've also built some of the kits and I intend to uh, string those together and control those with an Arduino program that I'm writing. Where the point's going to be installed is actually ballasted so the first job was to scrape out um, underneath the point here to allow the two sensor legs that uh, take current from the the rails actually slide underneath the point. I did this with a small screwdriver. The point then simply slides home uh, underneath the rails and uh, if positioned properly picks up its current from the the two two rails and uh, that works automatically it saves all the wiring come to green as soon as it sees power as and when a piece of rolling stock passes the sensor as you can see changes to red and after a certain period it will cycle back through yellow and then back to green as you would expect. The signal uh, has a built-in DCC decoder in the base and it reads the track signals. Uh, at the moment the track is set straight ahead so uh, if we push our little cart forward as you can see it travels straight ahead. If I change the point, as you can see it's now showing a right hand feather and again if I push the car you can see it turns to the right in accordance with the feather and um, at that point also changes back to red. Uh, when it comes back to green, the feather relights. If we move down to the bottom end of the layout, you can see the 
ballasting that I've been busying myself with. Um, in this corner is uh, where the tunnel normally sits and uh, that's the section that I particularly wanted to get ballasted so that in the event that I decide not to have a tunnel in the future the ballasting is actually completed. As I mentioned I've still to weather the ballast. Uh, I don't like this clean white pristine ballast, it's uh, not prototypical so I will be weathering that as the next stage of uh, the venture uh, in order to finish it off. The tunnel can go back in place and I will then be in a position to uh, ballast the rest of the track that's uh, outstanding. In order to get to the bottom of the track I've had to remove the section which normally contains the turntable. Uh, I arranged it this way uh, so that I could get into the back of the track uh, because it's rather too far to, uh, to reach otherwise. So uh, that was part of the original planning. This is accomplished by having a break in the track just uh, where the other board joins and it allows me to actually lift it out when I need to. We have block detection fitted uh, on the railway and as uh, the Deltic enters the block you'll see that uh, its registration comes up in the section on the controller here. So you can see that this particular block is occupied and it's occupied by the Deltic. Likewise when we come out of the block you'll see that this section goes clear again and we now know that that particular block is clear. 